Hope you have a great rest of your, a great, I can't say great, great day. Have a great day. Hi, how's it going? My name is Miguel. Welcome to this week's episode of Disabled Talks. If you haven't already or if you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you get every notification and never miss any of our talks. This week, we're on the second part of our series, Friends, where we're talking all about friendship and disability. One of the things that stopped me from making friends at first was the thought that because of my disability, I would slow my friends down in some way. No one likes to be considered weak or be the odd man out, right? So whenever my friends used to invite me to go do something, I would, depending on what it was, I would run through the scenario or, or the activity and be like, all right, am I gonna be able to do it? And um, if not, then am I just gonna go and stand there, basically look stupid and ruin their fun in the process? And if I ever thought that, that was the case, then of course I would be like, I would, but you know, I, I have this thing or, I, I can't, you know, I I would basically come up with anything or I would just say no, even though on the inside I would be like dying to go or like dying to participate with them and, you know, have fun. I think sometimes having a disability kind of gets it into our brain that we're just going to be a burden. So we don't even like to put ourselves out there. But what I have come to learn is that it's not really a matter of what you can or can't do, but it's your attitude that matters the most. And so in this first scenario, my friends uh, and I were going to a concert. I had never been to a concert at that point, so I was nervous. Um, but again, I wanted to, you know, try to still put myself out there, or at least start to. Um, so we went to the concert. My mistake was that it was like an artist that, you know, I really didn't care for. So I was just basically going for the experience and to just hang out with my friends. But once I was there, you know, not being able to dance, um, or at least in my head, in my head anyway, not being able to dance like everybody else, um, just kind of like hit me and it kind of ruined my, ad like how I was or how I behaved. Cause inside I was just, I was just um, not happy. So, you know, I was like, my friends are really good about knowing when I'm not having fun or when I'm uh, mad or, or, or where I'm just kind of like over it. So we were just there at the concert. Um, I was just like standing there, you know, indifferent to what was going on because in my head I was like, well, this blows. I'm like, I, like, I wasted my money. I'm wasting my time. I'm like, I was just like standing there, like going through my head, uh, just being negative. Um, and I think at the end of the night, um, it wasn't the fact that I didn't dance, because I didn't even try to dance, I just literally stood there. <laughs> so, um, I know, I, st I still kick myself because, looking back, it was a waste of money, but, you know, that was my poor decision. Um, anyway, that's not the moral of the story. The moral of the story is that, since my attitude was crappy, um, I kind of ruined a, a good experience, like, even though... I wasn't f too fond of the artist, you know, if I would have had a different attitude towards it, I could have still had fun because my friends are awesome in the fact that they know how to f have fun basically in any, in any scenario. I can't even talk right now. Um, so if I would have just kind of switched my attitude, I'm sure it would have been a great night. Um, but you know, I had to be my stubborn self. So that was my first attempt at dipping my toe into the water of trying new things. You could say um, the concert didn't go as good as it could. You know, I wasn't confident enough back then to tear up the dance floor yet. So, you know, I just, you know, it, it could have been better. But um, I didn't let that kind of stop me because I had already said to myself that I was going to say yes. So the next thing came up, my friends are like, you know, they're always like coming up with fun things to do. So, of course, the next thing came and it was summer, so they're like, oh, we have to go float the river. It's so much fun. And I was like, oh, crap. Like, all of a sudden, like, all the negative things started rushing into my head. You know, you can drown, you know, no big deal. Um, what, like, your legs are so skinny, like, people are going to see. And, you know, that's embarrassing. Um, you know, what if you have to walk barefoot? Like, your feet are really sensitive and it's going to hurt. Do you really want to put yourself through that? So all these thoughts just like rushed into my head and I was like, no, <laughs> I was like, I, I'm going to do this. I was scared, uh, but then it helped that my friends were like, 
no, like, you're, you're coming with us. It'll be fun, and then we'll be there. So they, like, reassured me. Um, so I ended up going. Um, I was terrified. All the things that, you know, except for drowning. Um, <laughs> basically, like, I felt awkward uh, wearing shorts. You know, I felt, you know, like, getting into the tube itself was difficult for me. Like, keeping my balance. I was terrified that the floaty was gonna like pop with the branches as we floated down. Um, Cause I had like floated before, but it, like my friend, my buddy was like pushing me. Uh, so I was like just like floating in the tube and he was like pushing me down the river. Um, but this, you know, like the river just like took you. So you basically had no control, uh, but it was, it was good. It, it was a lot of fun. And you know, that goes to show like my attitude was a lot better. I was willing to try and we all had a blast instead of, you know, me just being like, oh, I don't wanna be here, the, this sucks. Feeling like you're gonna slow your friends down or be a burden to them somehow is something valid, but it shouldn't be the thing that deters you or determines whether or not you try something new. In my experience, my friends have been more than accommodating and helping me to try new things or even pushing me to try something that, you know, is completely outside my comfort zone. Um, it's all about knowing yourself and knowing what you're comfortable in trying. If your friends, you know, are doing an activity that you know for certain, uh, for certain, <laughs> for sure, sh sh <laughs> that you know for certain, you know, you can't do, you also have to be realistic with yourself. I don't have to participate in everything, but I also don't let my disability be the determining factor of whether or not I even try. That's it for the second part of the series. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to press the like button and pass it on to someone else who might enjoy it or agree with the message that we're trying to portray with this channel. Like always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, a rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one.